Hey everyone, this is American Wire. Check out how this Hollywood actress tears Biden apart. Our next guest is urging Hollywood liberals to wake up. Actress and founder of Ultra Free Clothing, Drea De Matteo, joins us now. Good morning to you. Hi. Hi. I'm coming at you live in my pajamas from oh. LA. <laughs> <laughs> That's the beauty of Zoom, right? All right, so Dre, oh, does, yeah. how, how does this affect the vote? Does Hollywood help or hurt Joe Biden? Man, I, I mean, I think if, if America wants to listen to a bunch of super rich celebrities that are not affected by not being able to buy food for their families, gas, um, all, all of the, the trouble that this country has gotten in by putting America last, I, I, I don't understand how we just listen to celebrities that are completely tone deaf. I, I challenge every tried and true punk rock liberal hippie to stand up and say, this is BS and, and not vote red or blue, vote for who's right for the job right now to get us out of all this trouble. Yeah, that's good. That's how I feel. So there's... Um, there's some new polls out this morning. Uh, ABC, the Ipsos poll, says that Trump is ahead by two points, 46 over Biden's 44. And then when, when they ask the voters who they trust to handle the top issues, economy, inflation, crime and safety, Trump wins. They both tie with protecting democracy, and Biden wins with health care. But if you're a working class American and you are going to the grocery store, you're trying to fill up your gas tank, are you going to say, oh, Michael Douglas is voting for him or George Clooney is voting for him because they're so relatable? to us working class people. Listen, when we even talk about protecting democracy, I think this administration went very far to protect other democracies and forgot about ours when they mandated frontline workers and all kinds of heroes that were all over the news during the pandemic that immediately went to zeros. I had the option to start a company, but what about all of the military and the, and the nurses and doctors and firefighters and policemen and pilots that had to step down because they didn't, they were pro-choice. They were really pro-choice about their body sovereignty. This president still hasn't spoken about how many people still can't work because of that. Every single time a celebrity goes out and, and shares about their politics, she is spot on when she says that they don't deal with the everyday issues that we American people deal with, with trying to afford groceries and gas and just trying to balance our budget to even survive in this awful economy. They, I can't even believe that they feel that they, their voice is <laughs> it's even something that we want to hear. Right, because the way that they always come out and say stuff is like they know what we're going through, but still, we should still vote for a person who's in office right now that made the economy and everything the way it is right now the way it is, right? I mean, she's spot on when she says they're not hurting to buy groceries, they're not hurting to put gas in their car, they have extra security around them themselves. I mean, it's just, it's, it's, it's a crock -a bowl <laughs> And one thing that always happens with me when I see a celebrity that I used to love watching on TV or with movies, if they go out and they start to share their political opinion, if they share it in a way where they're just sharing their political opinion and not taking a personal shot at the political party they don't agree with, I can survive watching their movies and I can survive watching them on TV. But when they go after conservatives, when they go after Trump and they belittle and they, their words are bullying, it's, it's, I can't even watch them anymore. I can't watch Tom Hanks anymore. I can't watch Will Smith anymore. I mean, there's a list out there that's so hard for me to watch. I just, it, blows my mind that um, they think that what they have to say matters to us as if they're going through the same thing, but they still want to vote the same person in party in the, in the White House right now for another four years. No way.